crochet these cute bunny rabbits with me. They are great for Easter decoration or for children's items any time of the year. Right, so are we ready to start? The order that we will be working in is that we start here, then go around there, the tail, and then back and forth here, and on the last row we'll make the ears and then the end of the head. What you need is some sort of yarn. I have a mercerized cotton and a hook that goes with it. Of course, the thicker yarn you have and the bigger hook, the bigger the rabbit's going to be. I'm using a hook uh, three millimeters. Check down in the video description for suggestions of uh, yarns and hook. My rabbits are quite colorful and the reason is that I'm not at home and I don't have any white yarn with me. <laughs> So this one's going to be yellow. And uh, I also have a new microphone and I'm trying to keep the cord out of the video here. So we start by making a magic loop. Now there are different ways of doing it. I'll just show the way I would. The yarn is on this side of my fingers and I go around my index finger. And then put the hook under it and uh, make a stitch there and uh, I would then normally loosen it. First we need to chain four and then we make seven trebles and that's trebles in the American sense, which means that you need two yarn overs. Seven trebles into the ring. And each time you pull the yarn through two loops. Next one. and so on. Until you have seven. So here I have seven. The chain plus seven trebles. And then tighten the magic loop, but don't tighten too much. We will need to get a couple of stitches in there. And now we are here and going to make this here back leg next. Chain five, chain five. And then we'll have a double crochet into the third stitch from the hook. One, two, three, here. Double crochet and two more into the next stitches. We continue with double crochets first one into the end of these trebles there and then three double crochets into this first treble. Three and then we'll have two double crochets into that hole. Now I'm leaving the yarn end inside my stitches. Then four double crochets 
into the space behind the chain we started with. Four. This is four. And now we'll make the tail. So we are here and we're making this little tail. Chain three. Three. And then three double crochets into the stitch where we started the chain. I'm taking both of these loops. That way it sort of stays more sturdy in it. Three double crochets. And then chain three again. And a slip stitch into where we started, where we started the tail. That's it, that's round. And then we crochet right around here. One more double crochet into the same space here. And then one into the next stitch. And now we go around here so that we have two double crochets into the next of the four stitches here. Next four. Two into each. To make it round. Two. Then again two. I think I leave this down here now. It's been going inside the stitches long enough. So I have two in this one and two here. And again two. like this. And then we'll have three double crochets into that last stitch there. So that's three. One, two, and three. So if I put that on top of it, so we are now here and then we go back again and then continue this way. Then chain two, two and turn and uh, double crochet into the same stitch where the chain stitches were started from. And then two double crochets again. We need to increase a couple of times so it stays round enough. And then two double crochets into the next one. So two into the same one. Then one into the next one. And then again two into the same stitch to increase to make sure this stays round. Then a half double crochet into the next stitch, which means that you pull the yarn straight through all of these loops. And another one, half double crochet. 
then two single crochets into the next stitch. So single crochets, no yarn overs, and a slip stitch into the next one. So you just pull it straight through. And another one. So now it has sort of tapered in here. Then chain one and turn and then a slip stitch not into the next one but the one after. So you skip one This would need to be as unnoticeable as possible where you turn. Another slip stitch. And then two single crochets into the next one. And a half double crochet into the next one too. Then two double crochets into the next one two looks like this now and then we keep going round one into each of the next three so one into each, then two to the next one, and then again just one into each, except when we come to the last one. And then three double crochets into the last one. Three. There. And we are here now. So now we need to do the front legs. We don't have a chain here, so we actually need to make the chain at the same time. In other words, a chainless foundation using double crochets. So we start as if we were just doing an ordinary double crochet into the same stitch as before. But now instead of making an ordinary one, you first take a yarn over and pull through only one loop. So that's like the chain. And then we finish off the double crochet. So it started to grow there now. Again, yarn over and then put the hook through both of the sides of the stitch that we just created there. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and again just through one to create the foundation and then finish off. Now we have two and then we need two more just the same way. And one more. There. Then chain one and turn. And now we need to get to here. And we need to get to here. So I'm making slip stitches only using this closest loop here, the front loop. So slip stitch.
five slip stitches and now we're starting to work on the head or neck rather I suppose chain two and a double crochet into the same stitch and then one double crochet and two double crochets into every second stitch there so this one gets one two into the next one then again one and two and one more time this one two so now when we look at the rabbit we are on the back side of it here and now we only have one more row and on that same row you will make the ears and just the last bit here for the first ear, chain 10, 10, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and turn, but don't turn the chain. And uh, first a half double crochet into the third stitch on the hook, one, two, three, half double crochet to shape the ear a bit and another one and then a double crochet into the four next stitches so a double crochet, four double crochets four and now there's two stitches left and a half double crochet into both like that and then a slip stitch into where we started there and a slip stitch into the next one and now we make the other ear exactly the same so 10 stitches 10 chain stitches And then exactly the, like the other one, first two half double crochets, then four double crochets, four. and a half double crochet into the last two stitches each there and then a slip stitch into the next stitch at the base here there almost like a rabbit now <laughs> the front of the head missing 
chain two and two double crochets into the next stitch and one double crochet into the one after and then to shape it a little bit so that we'll get like a nose we'll have uh, we'll have three trebles first one treble into the next stitch then two trebles into the one after so two trebles into the same stitch Then a double crochet, a half double crochet, and a single crochet into the last stitch, and then finish off with a slip stitch into the stitch below. So here it is. Now I think it looks like a rabbit and um, finish off the yarn and then I'm actually going to wet it and shape it. Now it's been here long enough so that it's completely wet. I'll just press it down a bit and then shape it. It's just that it may not be exactly as you would want it to be so um, when it's wet you can shape it nice also whatever way the you want the face to be maybe that's right and the tail so and the ears like that <laughs> and then just let it dry and then you can either sew or use a little button or be a bead or something to make an eye that's it. 